That's the one I want to see. That's like most true cobras, when threatened or frightened, this snake will display a hood. The hope is to look larger and more dramatic, scaring away a potential intruder. Although there are many stories about the emblem on the cobra's hood, its real purpose is probably to confuse predators. Well, cobras are extremely dangerous. They have a very toxic venom and are capable of producing large quantities of it. The Asiatic and his close relative, the Indian cobra, are still responsible for many snake bite deaths each year. Ranging over a large part of Southeast Asia, the monocle cobra is still quite common in many areas. He's looking mad at you. Cobras possess a small, fixed front fang. And as the snakes are induced to bite, you can often see these fangs. Cobra venoms often contain powerful postsynaptic neurotoxins capable of disrupting neurotransmission and resulting yeah. in paralysis and respiratory oh, wow. arrest. Sometimes, as little as 10 to 20 milligrams of cobra venom is a lethal dose for an adult. As you watch the monocle cobra bite, they are routinely producing over 100 milligrams of venom during a single extraction. Cobra venom is rich in a host of proteins and toxins which have varying uses in biochemical research. Monocle cobra venom is used not only to make antivenom, but is currently being used in viral research, organ transplant work, neuromuscular chemistry, and the list goes on. Most cobras make long-lived and hardy captives. Many of the cobras you see here were born and raised at the Reptile Discovery Center and the Toxin Venom Laboratories. It is not uncommon for our cobras to live 20 years or more, and they are one of the most important members of our venom line. Okay. Oh, okay. Different. The end. The end. Ah!